Hi guys, this is uh, Shinji72 here and today we have another horror mod. Will you be able to escape the clockwork? And welcome to another episode of uh, Skyrim Watch. So I've noticed uh, this mod the other day on the Nexus hot files. I was uh, completely unaware of it, so I was not prepared. And you know, it's uh, it's hot here, so to be honest, my reaction was to to be lazy and stay at the beach. But then one of you commented on the last uh, on the previous video and said, "Hey, why don't you take a look at the clockwork?" Then a second one uh, did the same, so guys, uh, thank you both of you for sending me here in these dungeons full of uh, spiders, uh, bones everywhere, and this one keeps watching at us. Icy lake, and skeletons, skeletons everywhere. Some of them even weirdly arranged as a kind of arcway. Shall we pass through? Ah! At least at the end of the journey, a good warm bath is awaiting us. So, the, this mod starts uh, as a random event uh, in the wilderness. You will uh, meet this guy, he will try to kill you. You will discover it in a note that he is uh, some sort of uh, relic hunter. The note will point you to a landslide which has uncovered some kind of old passageway. Think twice uh, before getting inside, because you want to be able to, to go back to Skyrim for a little while. I will try to show you as little as possible from this mod to avoid the spoiling, but just let me show you this. This will happen the first time you see the clockwork house or castle. The title of the mod will appear on the sky, isn't it cool? This was quite a jaw-dropping moment for me, but I experienced a lot more once I got inside the house. This is the main hall, and look at the quality of the textures. It's uh, some sort of uh, Victorian era house uh, with uh, some with a touch of uh, steampunk. You will recognize uh, some of these paintings. They come mostly from the 19th century. You might say they are not so lore friendly, but this is a kind of uh, house out of time. So the fact that these paintings seem to come from another dimension, it's okay with me. Lore friendly or not, uh, they are uh, beautiful and uh, look at the resolution, you can get close as you want, uh, there are no pixels uh, coming out. I've already shown you the bathroom, right? And here too, look at the quality of the textures and the models he is using. And of course, the clockwork castle is full of clocks. And they are actually, they are working for real, you will constantly hear the, the bell ringing at the hour. They follow the right in-game hours, uh, days, months, uh, seasons. And actually, if you raise the, the time scale of the game, here I've set it to 100, see what happens. The arrows are moving quicker, it's incredible. And this is the machine which will bring you back to Skyrim. You will have to select the location you want to go on this map here, clicking at these buttons. 
but the machine is not working from the start, of course, you will have to find a way to activate it again. You can make of this place your new home for you and your follower, but you will need to bring back uh, energy to the castle. Beneath the keep is the travel machine. It can transport you to the major settlements of Skyrim. You will have to meet the people living in the castle and solve a few quests, some of them quite big. So guys, seriously, thank you for pushing me out of my laziness because this mod is really a gem. One of the best dungeon house mod I've ever seen. I know it may seem that I've shown you a lot, I did show you a lot, but uh, really I've only scratched the surface of this uh, incredible uh, out of time clockwork house. And that was all for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please subscribe, this was Shinji72, see you next for the next video, bye!